Aloha! Today I'm going to talk about all the hand washing and the hand sanitizers, keeping things clean. Yeah, I know. Um, I, before all the cancer and every the chemo, I was not a big proponent of hand washing. I mean, I wash my hands, yes. But I was not one of those people who was so anti germ and germophobic that I washed and used hand sanitizer. I, I really didn't like hand sanitizer. Um, just smelled like alcohol. It made me cough. It, I, I always thought it took away from building up your immunity to the common flu and cold viruses. I've always been a pretty healthy person, you know. Till this um you know I would get something once a year and that would be it it it's not like I was always sick always you know and maybe for those people that's you know hand sanitizing is a big a bigger deal but for me I just didn't I, I wasn't into the whole hand sanitizing thing and then with the care the cancer and the chemo and the defenses going down I had to start washing my hands all the time and using the hand sanitizers and so um, I did start out when I was washing my hands I did start out using the dial antibacterial soap very harsh not cruelty free big you know even though I'm cruelty free person I did buy that just because it was antibacterial and so I wish I hadn't done that now, but at the time I was just so afraid of everything they had told me. Since then, I have switched to, I've got them here, um, I have Mrs. Murphy, Mrs. Myers, sorry, Mrs. Myers, a lot gentler. At work, I do keep, a, it's a little small travel bottle size of Dr. Bronner's. And that works great as well. And then also I've picked up along the way at Bath and Body Shop. Um, I love them. The whole shop is cruelty free. So that's always a good thing. I'm getting shadow on my face no matter where I go. I start playing samba music. Anyway. <laughs> um, this one is Creamy Luxe. And it, it's just very smooth and emollient and it feels really good this one is I don't have my glasses on um, I think this one is gardenia because I, I'm a sucker for gardenia that's my favorite scent in the world is gardenia and this one is lavender um, linen and lavender and this one also very nice I, you know I really like it when my hands can smell nice <laughs> And then, oh, this is my favorite though. I mean, not for the soap, but for the container. I found this at Ross in that adorable, the little pineapple. And, you know, obviously, you know, it used to be up to here. And I bought it and I thought, well, I can always just dump out the soap and put my own cruelty-free soap in it. And when I got home and I put my glasses on and read the tag, it had the PETA logo on it, the little bunny. And so I was so glad. I And offhand, I don't remember what the brand is, what name it is, but, um, you know, when I went online and it said it was cruelty-free, and I was like, yay. And, but this was only like 3 or $4 at Ross, and I bought it solely because of the pineapple. I, I wouldn't have cared about the soap, but I wanted the pineapple. So it sits on my kitchen counter, and as soon as the soap is out, I'll just put... You know, like the Mrs. Myers into it or something. And so, um, hands got very dry. With all the hand washing and the hand sanitizers, hands got very dry. For hand sanitizers, at first I bought the Purell. Again, not cruelty free, but I was in that fog of not knowing what I was really doing and not comprehending, um, in, I, I was just thinking antibacterial, antibacterial, antibacterial. 
you know, and I, I wasn't thinking past that. So, you know, I just, I was at Target and it's like, okay, just grab these. Um, since then, it, now I've got these almost full bottles sitting on my, I've got one on my desk at work I don't use and one around here or somewhere that I don't use. Um, but it, since then I've been to Bath and Body Shop. These are the best things. These little bottles of hand sanitizer, you can tuck them anywhere. I have them on my, I have, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here, one in my car, one at, two at work, um, because they're all different scented, and um, the thing is, is like, you get these, they're only $1.25 each, regular price. And so if you get them on sale, they're even cheaper. But this little thing lasts me, you know, a couple months. So for $1.25, that's pretty good. And the thing is, is like I've got scents for whatever mood I'm in. I've got one that's like a sleepy time. I've got one that's calming. I've got one that is focus energy, you know, that I have at work. Um, I've got a stress release. I think I've got that at work too. <laughs> Um, I have, I love this one. This is Japanese cherry blossom. And then of course my French lavender. And there are a lot of, because it's summertime, there are a lot of ocean summertime scents. The only ones that for some reason I can't really handle them are the citrusy scents. Those don't, I, I don't know. I have a problem with those. They make me cough and gag and so I gave two or three of them to a friend at work um, this one is white sand blue glasses something or other white sands I've got one at work that is water lily that is really nice um, this is the one I really love comfort it has patchouli in it and I love patchouli as well um, anything with gardenia or patchouli yeah so I've got all these this one this one is so cute it just has a little panda on it my daughter would love that she loves pandas um, and then they've got their unicorn line so if you like unicorns and some of them have like sparkly glitter in them I noticed one day all of a sudden my hands were like all glittery and it's like where did this come from oh yeah okay it's because I'd been using the sanitizer so much um, and the one thing I didn't do, I didn't bring it over, uh, the hand lotion after doing all the sanitizing, but when you sanitize your hands, then you can't just go put on lotion, you, you know, cause your hands are sanitized, <sighs> but you, you will find that you need lotion with all the hand washing and the san the sanitizer that's on your hands. Um, anything I think that has shea butter in it should work. I've tried a lot of them and the one that worked best was one that I actually got at Bath and Body Shop. Um, this is not really a plug for them. This is not sponsored in any way, but it, I really just love their products. They're cruelty free. Everything I've bought works great. Um, but the one lotion that I really liked I bought at Christmas time and I didn't see it the last time I was there so it might have been seasonal but it was a vanilla bean shea butter lotion and I did buy some tiare um, shea butter lotion and while I love the the tiare which is gardenia um, it just it didn't seem like it worked as well as the vanilla bean one and so I don't know but look for shea butter uh, that is going to work better than anything else I think and another thought for and I might I'm going to go into moisturizing later in another video so I'll expand on that but this is kind of more for the sanitizing and cleanliness another thing is sanitizing the things around you a lot has come out lately about cleaning your cell phones you know and so all I do is 
um, at the end of the day, I take one of these little alcohol wipes and I got a whole box of these for when I was doing the chemotherapy and I had to do the shots. You know, you, you get the whole box, you use a few of them. So you've got all these leftovers, you know, what are you supposed to do with them? Well, this is a good thing. Um, I take one of these and I wipe my phone with it. Most people only think about wiping the front of their phone because they see the screen, they see the finger marks, and that's where they think about. You have to get that whole phone. You have to get around the sides where the buttons are, the volume, you know, and the, the screen control. You have to get the back, especially if you have a rubber, um, a, a rubberized type of case on it. The rubber really attracts the the germs and the grit and I just read something on that today and so that's what made me think about this video sorry I didn't mean to flip you off there but um so just use your extra swabs for that and you know if you don't have the alcohol swabs just put some rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab or not a cotton swab but a, a cotton ball and go over your phone and let it sit for a few minutes don't pick it up right away and start messing with it because there you go you haven't given the alcohol time to work in you have to give it you know that good 10 or 15 minutes to actually work on the germs and so I do mine at night before I go to bed and then you know in the morning when I go and start it's fresh and clean I'm fresh and clean because I usually don't touch it other than to turn off my alarm I don't touch it again until after I'm out of the shower and I'm clean so it's like a whole fresh day and they actually recommend that you do it twice a day and so I'm thinking maybe I should take some of these to work and do it halfway through the day one of the biggest problems that they cited in this article I read is that people use their phones when they eat and it's not so much that just handling your phone is not a bad thing you know the handling with the germs and everything it's handling your phone wiping your eyes wiping your nose your mouth when you're eating you use your phone and then the the food stuff stays on the phone and the air the it goes bad and all the germy stuff you know sits there and um, you get the viruses or the bacteria or whatever it is <laughs> I get confused which is which and it sits there on your phone you pick up the phone later again and by that time everything's like grown and multiplied and then you know you pick up your phone and wipe your your mouth or your nose and you're sucking in all those dirty multiplied germs and so that's where the cleaning the phone you know don't don't necessarily use your phone while you're eating especially if you're eating with someone of course you know I, I sit here in front of the TV and eat and have my phone and playing games and email and that's because I'm alone <laughs> But anyway, so these can actually become your best friend if you have a box of these hanging out from after the chemo. And don't forget, um, pick up these little hands. These smell so much better than the Purell or whatever you buy in at Target or Walmart or whatever. Um, oh, the patchouli in this one. And get some soap, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be from Bath and Body, but get something that's going to be gentle on your hands. You know, just be aware of that, that it, it, it is going to get rough because you're washing so much. So your hands are going to dry out. And like I said, I'll do another video on how I dealt with the dry skin issue because it's more than the hands your your skin really changes with chemo and then again with the um, the radiation and so I'll do something on that 
in a little bit and hopefully it helps so if you have not subscribed please subscribe hit that notification bell and as always like 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 <laughs> all right aloha bye bye